Okay. Uh, let me just, okay, good, that is recording. So, welcome to uh, another episode of Vampire Survivors. I actually just thought I was recording it because apparently Metal, for some weird reason, now no longer records Vampire Survivors, which is really sad, but, um... Yeah, first I'll show you how to... So this is with the new DLC that just came out today. The Imposter Colon. So I just unlocked the Red Crewmate. All you had to do is actually just do the new Polis map. And just find him in the coffin. Polis replica. So that's the only thing that you really need to do in that one. To unlock the Red Crewmate. I'll show you all the other stuff that I just spent the past half hour playing and thought I was recording, and apparently it was not. Very sad. So, let's get to it. Okay, so, let's see, any new arc- well, there's no new arcanas. Uh, let's see, anything new with the arcanas that- any of the new weapons work with other than Gemini so far okay so if any healing trust me you will want to get this and just like just it's amazing to be honest I won't spoil it I'll actually let you I'll show you what it does later um that's all same okay so beginning emergency button and reporting that one looks new i don't know what that one is uh look at season slash has a few new things uh no that's all the same and that's all the same so the only new things I mean, I did define Bloodline, because I use the Archer guy, which, I mean, it's good. Don't get me wrong. I probably might actually just start off with Divine Bloodline again. But considering that the Ren and Bean, the Red Crewmate, his passive basically, he gets permanent stat boost when a weapon is maxed out. So, you want to go for a lot of weapons on head. Um, hmm. Yeah, I guess I'll just go for Divine Bloodline. Now, the map is like roughly right about here, I think. That's where you can find it on it. Oh. So, I get like just a little sound wave. Interesting. Anything new on you? No. Okay. Uh, I don't really want any of these. Actually, Shadow Seven could be good. Evolve with Curse. Sure. Plus, uh, the Evolve version of Shadow Pinion. Basically, it's an insta-kill chance. So, each of these are all passives. So, I will recommend just, like, getting those after you get all your weapons and all your passive. Like, all your regular passives. Uh, sure, I'll go for a scent of water. Why not? So, those of you who don't know what Among Us is, shame on you. Go ahead and actually watch some of my videos. I made plenty on Among Us. Although, I just do the VR version. I don't do the flat Among Us. <coughs> wonder how good the sound wave is as you whip area. Ooh, that could be quite interesting. <coughs> Um, okay, I don't want any of these. 
Uh, this evolves with crown? Sure, why not? So, but yeah, those of you who don't know what Among Us is, where have you been for the past part? Like, since COVID? Report. Base damage up by 5. Uh, sure. Fires one more projectile? Sure. Uh, but basically, Among Us is pretty much a survival, get all your tasks done before the imposter kills you. Imposters are basically what it sounds like. It's one thing... Well, they'll look like a crewmate, but they will... But they are definitely not a crewmate. Their goal is to kill everyone, or at least kill enough so that they can outnumber you. Uh... Do I want to act? Hmm... Of all that with area, that could actually be pretty good for this. And uh, let's see, I need one more weapon. Uh, actually, I don't know what that this weapon even evolves with. Knockback factor increased by 10, so apparently report can knock back enemies. Interesting. So far, it's just been killing all of them, so I haven't had to worry about that at all yet. Uh, okay. But yeah, to so to win, hmm. Let's see. I need curse, uh, a fractor, throat, a crown, candelabra door. I'm assuming it's one of the passes for this one. I really don't know. Uh, four seasons probably not a good idea. Mm, bracelet. I could do a bracelet. It has no requiring passives for evolution. Okay, so the red ones are basically like the witches then. Interesting. What's my HP at? 198? So this is where you go to get this one. Base damage up by 10, sure. I would like to get Empty Tome for some more cooldown. A track door, perfect. Let's go for that. Uh, let's go. I guess I'll go with bracelet. Uh, it's sad that it wasn't recorded in my last gaming session because I got so lucky and got so many triple and penta chests. It was crazy. I've never seen that many in one run. And my luck wasn't all that high. It was only 150 towards the end. And for those of you who don't know, in this game, the more luck you get, the higher your chances are of basically getting, like, crits, more options, and better chests. So, like, you could get a triple chest or a penta chest more often, which is usually pretty nice because that saves you level ups.
Okay, mini crewmates. That's what the red one does. Um, no, I want empty tome. One, two, three, four. So I can get at least one other one. Um, hmm. Sure, I guess I'll go for armor. Base damage up by 10, okay, nice. Ooh, crack door. Or magnet, sorry. Okay, empty tome? Yes. Give me that for a more cool down, because I wanted to test that with the med base scanner weapon. Just trust me, once you see what that the evolved form can do, it is totally worth it to get empty tome. Knockback factor increased by 10? Nice. Oh, what am I doing? I can already get this. Restores HP based on mountain recoveries, what life can do. Kendo Labrador, perfect. Uh, yeah, I'll go for a tractor. Let's see. Seismic activity is detected. So with this is what it means is basically that you can actually it will give you a chest, which all the chests I have gotten were either a penta chest or a triple chest, never a single chest. So I would rec oh I need crown. That's what I need. Uh let's see. And it gives you that 70 seconds to actually get there to hit the button, otherwise stuff happens. Oh, triple chest, nice! That just saves me three level ups, that's perfect. So I hit that, then you get a chest. Yeah, so it seems like... Because my luck right now is just... Base 30%. That's not... That shouldn't be enough to even get a triple... a uh, penny chest. Okay, I need... Skull for you, so let's get that. Since I've never actually technically taken in this, because I mean, I played this game tons before, I have over 100 hours. I don't know technically how many hours I actually really have, but I have a whole lot of hours. Not as much, not as, probably not as many as Dex does. But I've played my fair share of Vampire Survivors. Uh, yellow to me is what I want to get because that does evolve it into that, and I need the crown. So the last item that I need looks to be crown. Okay, whoa. So I just got a boost to something. For maxing out that. Because that's his passive skill, is to max out, or to have a permanent stat boost in that, for that. Interesting. Go for you. Oh, let's go. There's you. Right, 
job, sure. I'll definitely go for that. Now, what's my HP at? 232%? Er, not 232 232 is my max HP, which is actually pretty good. There's crown. Perfect. Now, where is it? Down here. Okay, good. So now... I don't know if they technically had to have it maxed out to evolve it or not. I did have it maxed out when I had the first evolved it, so it's possible. Okay, let's see. Let's go for Engineer now. Which is over here. Should be right inside of here. Let's see. How do I get inside of there again? Perfect. Max that out. That way it doesn't show up in the pool anymore and I can get other options for leveling up. Now the main engineer will occasionally lift. Okay, so next let's go for blue. the prismatic missiles maxed out. So now I'm getting 13 HP per time it does that. Which is actually pretty nice. <coughs> the Guardian is basically like a Laurel for you. I wonder if that actually stacks with like the actual Laurel then. Huh. That could be interesting if that does. It's actually also decreased armor, so I take less damage, which would be very nice. Okay, next will be red. Uh, let's see... Yeah, looks like I can get in via this way. Um, faint smell of vinegar. Yeah, I'll get that after I get red. I'm already, I'm already here, I might as well just get red anyway. So, looks like those. Alright, alright, max it out. That way, you see, evolve it. Uh, still doesn't show up. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Okay, uh, let's see. Right, occasion shot. Oh, right. Uh, let's go. Empty tome. Empty tome again. Perfect. I thought I could go. This way. Can I not? Okay. But I have to go this way. Right. I played Among Us for a good chunk of hours. I actually helped to beta test it when it was originally, before it really came out. More support, more life. Uh, let's do you because I want to get your as possible. Yeah, so it seems like whenever they do those ones, it automatically gives you a penta chest. Which is actually really nice.
Cool tones reduce areas up by 10%. Excellent. It literally offers better moral support. And okay, so that's it looks like that the shout one also cooldown is by two seconds. Good. Uh pretty good to be over here, right? Yeah. Scientists might throw occasional signs at enemies. Shadow Servant. Uh, oh, so it's whenever you. So red's passive and boosts your stats whenever you max anything out. Not just weapons, but passives too. Oh, that's nice. That's actually really nice. So let's go ahead and grab blues. Uh, I mean, I almost have this maxed out anyway, so I might as well just do it. Alright, it's one more projectile, cooldowns reduced by 92 seconds. Green, it's a shapeshifter, so fling over left five. Yeah, and I got a point two five. Wow, that's actually really good. Okay, it's really nice. Super nice. Uh, yeah, so my cooldown's at 45. Uh, let's go for you. So, easiest way. I should probably be doing it this way. Because I should be able to just go right over here. Actually, let's just go and grab this arcana chest while I'm so close to it. Uh, blood astronomia, disco gong. Huh. That's free roll, why not? Ooh, that's just perfect. Max armor out. And Shadow Seven. Just because they're so close. Max that one out too. Max that out. I guess I'll go with Jet Knight, why not? Okay, so... You know, let's see... Occasionally destroys all of one type of enemy. Interesting. So, let's see what evolved... Okay, so it's Red Crewmate. That evolves the... Sign. And then... To kill them... Max sign out. Get that, get that, get that. Who's in posture? Not me. Oh, wow. When do 
did I get knives? Huh? Is that the... Huh. You again. Fires one more projectile. Reduces the current cooldown by two seconds. Reduces cooldown by another two seconds. Max you out. More armor. Prismatic. Cooldown is reduced by three seconds. Okay. Prismatic, sir. Sure. Sure. Prismatic, max out, get yeah, boost. Max that out, get cooldown boost. 54%, nice. Get that. Crown, more crown, and more crown. Candle, candle, more candle. And skull. Yeah, I'll still have some evolutions. So, Lepore got evolved. Oh, Santa Water. I think this flash is really, really cool, to be honest. Oops, wrong way. I'm, I personally, I love playing It's such a fun game, I think. Okay, so the Taurus one... That one I wasn't able to actually fully get the last time that I tried it. Exile. Getting guaranteed Tinted Chest, which is perfect. Evolve that. So, has a chance to instantly kill, which is based off of luck. Right now my luck is 105%. Oh, Okay, so it's right up there. And as you can see, I have over 100 seconds to actually get there. Let's go. Because technically the bracelet is three weapons. So that will technically give me like three permanent stats. In. They just give me. 0.4% in height, which is amazing to watch. And then here's another guaranteed penta Yeah, all these give you a guaranteed penta chest. Lumiere, it increases the value of gems and coins on the ground, which is perfect to watch. So let's go get some more area. Area. Oh yeah, 
I think I can do it with the mouse as well. Evolution for the bracelet, which gives me another six levels to go for. Max out, plus that also gave me another stat boost. Max that out, give me another stat boost. <laughs> and where is it? Am I over here somewhere? Oh, there you go. And here we go, this is the one I wanted to show you. Periodically grants a random stat boost for the rest of the run. Which means, more permanent stat boost. So that's actually really good with red. Cause he already did get more stat boost. Cause he already got more air. Oh wow. That's bad. That's essentially, dude, this is technically better than Wicked Season. Holy crap! I'm getting more cooldown. I'm already at almost maximum cooldown. I felt like I get a step with every 4 to 5 seconds. <laughs> oh wow, that is broken! Is how strong am I going to be? And it's random stat boost, mind you. So I get speed and might. You can also get an amount for the life sign scan. Oh yeah, and I haven't involved that yet. Oh go area. Uh area. 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 <laughs> area. 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 Up here. Area. Area. <laughs> wow. Amount. Good. More area. Is there a chest anywhere? Can I make it? I can go. Yes, I can. Look at my kills. I'm getting a lot of kills. And look how much gold I'm getting. Where's my greed at? Only 50? I already have almost 10,000 gold. Dang, that's good. More speed, I guess. More area. Amount. Good. Area. 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 Speed, I guess. There's the Death Scythe, that's everything other than Fred's I think of all. Holy crap! Okay, you want to add to these useless combination. Okay, I'm just going to rent them all. I mean, I'm already at 50,000 kills. That's good.
if you want to see me just like single item but a single weapon run for any of these guys well, let me know that in the comments and I will be glad to do that Oh, that's a, I must have gotten the first... <laughs> I, uh, it, this is the Bob Boogaloo of Illusion, mind you. I was recording that to stop this from happening. I should not have gone for the death one, I guess. Wait, why is my green now? Still 50? Look, I already have over 10,000 thrown in 15 seconds. <laughs> I'm going to get so much gold. Like, it's perfect because I need that. Oh, good, there's And that's another stat boost that I really don't not need. <laughs> see anything if I have already almost a hundred thousand ooh I almost banished that and that's another hundred stat I can't even see what stat boost I'm even getting right now every time I see that 58 I know that means I'm getting a stat oh wait no that's either 59 or 69 Alright, 100,000 kills. Nice. Uh... Oh, I think I already got Just how much gold am I going to be getting? I know it's something like that improves the value of the gen point, but I didn't think this much and I'm only at 50% free. Only enough, it doesn't look like it's boosting that. There's a test somewhere. Did I get it? Yeah, it looks like I did. Holy crap, guys. Wow, I've already got 100,000 coins in this run alone. That's really good, because I need all the coins for all the unlocks and stat boosts. And golden eggs too. If you want to see a golden egg run that I can do, uh, like for the infinite coins, let me know that in comments and I'll gladly do one of those. I think now I thought a little bit, you just got hyper mode. I cannot see a single thing. <laughs> So I only got ten eggs. What's my area at? Three and two? I wish there was a way for me to like turn off the visuals. Flashing VXX damage numbers. I can't see any damage numbers but
that gold saver has been going for almost five minutes. <laughs> I can only see it very little. Wait, when did I get bones? Huh? What's going on here? I shouldn't have bones. I shouldn't even have knives. What's going on? When did I, how did I get these? You can easily see that I don't have knife or bone. Is it because of the emergency button I wonder? What's going on? I really do not know.
Okay. Screenshot that. I'm in 95% cooldown. <laughs> Frankly, the max is the maximum that anti really goes is ninety percent. But the game actually lets you go over, but that's just the ninety percent, just how much that it will actually do. Wow, that's busted. <laughs> I figured I would have been invincible, given that I had like a laurel. Okay, so if you like that chaos, <laughs> that was insane for one. If you like all that, ooh, good. I got the report. I got the imposter, and I got the horse. Nice. If you've enjoyed this, leave a like, leave a comment, hit that subscribe button. I'm trying to get to at least 500 subscribers. Goal right now would be like 450-ish by the end of the year, which would be great. So if you want to see more videos like this or other videos, including that cuteness overload cat video that I just recently posted, the day before because this is going up tomorrow which would be the 19th hit that subscribe button and i'll see you guys in the next one goodbye